What's up, people? Yeah, boys. Yeah, girls. You know what? I have to admit, not smoking cigarettes, I feel like I am 40 pounds lighter. I'm walking around with a bounce in my step. I don't know whether it's psychosomatic or what, but I don't know. I have to just admit that I am feeling better. And as much as I don't like quitting things, especially the reason I don't quit doing all the bad things to my body is because I'm a, I'm a, a realist. I don't see the reason why not to do whatever the hell you want. And because you never know when in hell that bus is going to come and not be able to hit its brakes in time and you're not paying attention and you get slapped in the bus. I know it's a morbid way of going through life, but you never know what's going to happen. So if you want to smoke, sir, you go ahead and smoke. But you know what? Right now, I'm feeling pretty jacked and working out the whole thing. Haven't stopped smoking because I still got the weed in the house, so I'm not going to even give any illusions to that. All right. So what I want to talk to you right now is about what's been going on. If you're new to this program, okay, and I've been talking a lot of shit about how we're trying to get this show onto regular television, how we're going to do a lot of different things with television, and I always say, hey, it's only me and my buddy Mike, and Mike got another job now, so again, now it's back to just being me. As much as I want to try to get my cousin Stuart, I don't know if you met my cousin Stuart, cousin Stuart's like Napoleon Dynamite with no redeeming qualities at all. And uh, as much as I want him to try to help out, and I want to help him do some stuff, it, I just can't do it. So it's basically back to me. And whenever Mike's free, we're going to do some stuff. Because we're going to the studios on Mon on Wednesday. I've been telling you, you and Alexei are coming back, and they're coming back so hardcore. You're not going to even know what the fuck hits you in the fucking face. You're going to be so slammed that it's going to be fucking incredible what is going to happen to your fucking skull. But back onto the thing of what's happening in, in this world, if you want to just think that this is just a trading show. On Friday, oh, let me talk to you about where I was. I was taking the week off, and I was coming into the chat room from time to time. And I said, the chat, the, the QID will close Friday at 1825. And I didn't even care what was going on in the process. I said, the job numbers are coming out, and that will be a great opportunity to wipe out the rally that we had for the week, because I always believe the rallies are bullshit, the market sentiment has changed, and we need to shake some more people out. So Friday would be a great opportunity to do that. And I called the pretty much the exact price where the QID was going to land. Now, that is a position where I was alluding to the fact that I never did buy that much more QID on that pullback to 17 and change. So therefore, it will definitely go up to 18 and a quarter. You'll learn the rules and regulations of how to make money off this insanity that goes on in my trading career. You'll learn. But the most important thing is to come into the chat room. Because whatever I said on the video that morning was, was great in its own right because the price line trade was phenomenal. The stock had dropped 100 points. I haven't traded price line since it was 15 maybe $20 back in... 2000 and I was like here's our opportunity let's buy some price line right here at 183 if it goes green or probably get a two-point trade out of it and that's what happened and that's all we needed to know so if that was day one of you joining the hit the bid program you bought price line you made two points on it no matter what you saw in the videos no matter what you thought of me no matter what arrogant dysfunctional insane needs to take a chill pill uh, you know and I'm going to get to some of those emails, too, because I, I love the guys that say, you're a moron, and, you know, and they try to get people to come to, to their show or whatever they're doing. So put up, people. Let's see how smart you really are. As a matter of fact, let's see how smart all of you guys are. Get, on, get involved. Come to the chat room. Get your Skype going. Call into the show, and we'll put you on live. You can hang out. We'll talk. So anyway, the moral of the story is choppiness, wait it out, look for your positions, like HIG today, HIG in the 23s, that's where we're buying the stock. Chances are it'll be back in the 24s sometime today, maybe tomorrow, that's where we'll sell it. And that's how we'll make our money for the week. Just sit back, wait for the trade. I don't think we're going to break down any, with any significance. I think maybe the quid could touch those levels of, in the 20s one more time. I don't think we're going to break 
below 15 on the QID, basically going to be range bound the whole summer. And I'm not the only one who's saying that, so I'm no genius. But that's the story. All right. Enjoy your day. Come to the chat room because that's where it all happens. Right now we're long HIG at 20, 2340. We're up 20 cents, so. Ooh, that's a day's pay. Think about it. Think about it like that. You want to come hang out. Also, the desks are filling up. We're hiring people at the firm. And we've got a new secretary right now. I just walked in. I haven't met her yet. I <laughs> just, her eyes were stunning. And immediately had to just start telling her about, you know, what we do here. And we'll try to get her on the show. But she says she's shy. And that's her way of saying, fuck off. I don't know who the hell you are. Why are you asking me to be on some, what the hell are you talking about? I'm shy. I'm shy. We're going to have to get the camera outside to show her off. Hopefully I don't scare her away, but... All right. Good luck to you. Get to the website. It's hitthebid.com. And although I got a, also I got an email from somebody who sent an email through hitthebid.net. Get your website to work better, dickhead. Well, if you watch the video on hitthebid.net, all it says is to come to hitthebid.com. And eventually hitthebid.net and hitthebid.com will all be fused together. And of course, then we have... The Jesus Christ of trading, which is coming soon. All right, that's my phone. See ya. I would much prefer Kral.